Becoming a Disciple Maker includes two 12-week small group semesters, Becoming a Disciple Maker and Becoming a Disciple Maker II. Now that we've had a brief overview, let's think about the terminology used in this material. You may have noticed that I've been using two closely related terms, new believer and new member. A new believer needs no explanation, but being a new member can refer to a person who joins your church from a wide range of backgrounds. They may have recently moved to your community, or they could be a transfer from a sister church in your area. We've discovered that most, if not all, of your incoming transfer members need to be personally discipled because they were never discipled at their previous church. Also, it's important to remember that authentic disciple making is to be a Christian's lifestyle, so it should never be equated with a church program. Church programs usually have a starting point with an anticipated conclusion, but disciple making is to be our ministry for a lifetime. Just think about the positive difference it will make when every new believer and member of your church immediately establishes a Christian friendship with one of your church's trained disciple makers. This is how multiplication begins. Studies reveal that if a new church member fails to establish a meaningful friendship during the first six months, they will typically quietly exit unnoticed through the church's back door. As a small group leader, would you like to see the next spiritual generation of your church's new believers being equipped to grow, witness, and multiply by discipling others? Well, that can happen, and the first step is for you to train a group of disciple makers to personally care for each new believer and member that enters your church.